Welcome everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to trigger Power BI dataset refresh from the Power App button click. So stay tuned and let's get started. First, we will build and publish a Power BI report based on a SharePoint list data. Then we will take it a step further by setting up a Power Automate flow to refresh our dataset automatically. But that's not all. Finally, we will bring it all together by creating a Power App that triggers our flow with a simple button click. So without further ado, let's jump into it. As you can see, I have a SharePoint list called order. So this list have four items in it. I have already created a Power BI report called orders and I'm showing all those four items in here. First, I will publish this report to Power BI portal. So if I click on publish, I will click on save changes. And now it will give me option to select one of my workspace in Power BI portal you will see all the workspaces you have access to publish the report. So for now, I will just select my workspace and select. The report is now published into my workspace under Power BI portal. Now let's navigate to Power BI portal and let me just refresh this page. So after refreshing the page, I can see my new report orders is published. So this is the report and this is a data set with that report. So to trigger the report refresh from Power Automate Flow, we need to update the credentials of this data set. So to do that, I will click on these three dots and then I will click on settings. Here you will see this yellow bar says, fail to test the connection to your data source. Please retry your credentials. So I need to click on added credentials. Now the authentication method, I need to provide OAuth to authentication. And the privacy level you can set based on your organizational need. I will select it to none for now and click sign in. I will sign in to Power BI portal. The data source is updated with my new login. So I can turn this on to refresh this daily and I can set this up multiple times to refresh this report during the day. But I will just leave that off because we're going to refresh this report using power app button click so if i click on just apply okay so we are done from the power bi side of it so i will just go back to my workspace now we can see the report here and the data set now the last time it was refreshed on 11:57. so let's go and create a power app which can trigger the refresh of this data set so if i go to power app and click on new app drop down start with the page design i just need a blank canvas app for this demo okay so the canvas app is ready for me to work on so all i need is a button in here so if i just select a button and then i will rename this button to refresh orders okay so now we have a button Next thing we need to do is on a click of a button, we need to trigger this Power BI dataset refresh. So to do that, we need to create a Power Automate flow, which can trigger the refresh and then call that flow on this button click. So for that, from the left hand menu, I will click on Power Automate. You can add a new flow, click on add flow. And then you can select one of the existing flow or you can create a new one. In this scenario, I'm creating a new one. So next you can select a ready-made templates or you can just create from blank. So let's just create flow from blank template. Very first thing I want to do is I want to give this flow a proper name. So instead of untitled, I'm just saying orders dataset refresh. Next we will create a new step. I'm searching for a Power BI dataset refresh. So when I start typing dataset refresh, I can see refresh a dataset Power BI action is available. So I will select that and then I need to select a workspace. You remember we have deployed our Power BI report under my workspace, so I will select that workspace. Next, we need to select a dataset we want to refresh. So in this case, it was orders dataset and that's it. 
we'll click on save our flow is ready okay so we can see orders data set refresh flow appearing in the power apps now i will select this button and on select property i want to trigger this flow so i need to start typing the flow name i can see order data set refresh flow dot run method so i will click on that and then i will put brackets so if i have any parameters in the flow i need to provide them here but we already know which workspace and which data set we are refreshing so we won't provide any parameter and they are not required in the flow so i will just close this parenthesis and that's it our app is ready to refresh the power bi data set on a button click so if i go back to sharepoint list let me create a new order so we can see when we click on a button this refresh happens and the power bi report is updated so if i click on new i will give this a title so i'm ordering some keyboard quantity is 10 unit price is 20 order date is 21st of may and then status is in progress and i will click on save now we have created a new record here. If I go to Power BI report, we will not see this record if I open this report because data refresh is not happened yet. So we can only see the four orders in here. So let's navigate back to Power App now. And I will just click this preview the app button and then I will click on refresh orders. So I've done that. I will close the preview. We can also check the progress of the flow under Manage Your Flow Power Automate URL. So here, if I refresh this page now, I should see a new flow which we have just created using the Power App. Here you go. We can see the orders data set refresh flow here. So if I click on it, I can see the flow run history which ran 46 seconds ago. So if I click on it, I can see the flow has ran successfully and the only action in this flow was to refresh our orders data set. Now, if I navigate back to orders Power BI portal, and if I click on refresh, you can see this new order keyboard with the quantity 10 has been automatically updated in the Power BI report. To confirm this further, if I go to workspaces and if I go to my workspace, so the current time on my laptop is 10 past 12 and now you can see the order last time refresh one minute ago so that's it you have learned how easy it is to trigger a power bi data set refresh from a power app button click so if you have a scenario in your organization where you have to do a manual refresh of power bi data set from within power app you can do this by following this video and thank you very much for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new video every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this video or anything related to Power Platform, please put in the comment section below. I review the comment on daily basis. I will try my best to answer your question. Thank you.